Hello everyone. Uh, this is Wednesday Night Fights on a Friday. And uh, my name is Lewis, a.k.a. Offcast. And next to me I have... My name is Glenn, a.k.a. Crazy Bone. What's up everyone? And uh, we have a Tekken 6 matchup that we've seen a lot. It's uh, Ares versus Rip. And they're going to show off some uh, MK9 skills. So let's get to it. Some nice Mortal Kombat. <laughs> so right now we have a stick change. And basically we are forever trolled. <laughs> So crazy. So you're a moderator so, on Test Your Might. So uh, yeah, man. What's your experience with MK? Like, how far um, back do you go? I've been playing MK all my life, man. Um, these last couple of years, you know, I've got into it competitively. I've been waiting for it to to get to tournaments like this, man. Now, have you entered any UMK turn? You can make three tournaments. Oh yes, I've definitely. I've actually gone to the East Coast and entered um, Ultimate MK tournaments just to support the scene, you know. What tournaments have you uh, been to? I've been to Winter Winter Brawl was the last one I I, I attended, um, and West Coast War Zone over here in over here in Cali. So that's what's up. Now, are you going to anything in the future, like recently? Um, yes. I'm actually going to go to, I'm going to try and go to every single tournament I can. I mean, there, I know there's going to be some that uh, I'm not going to be able to attend, but I'm even looking at East Coast tournaments. Like, I'm already um, planning to go to Power Up, so. Now, for this MK, like, what is, like, why is it, like, legitimately competitive? It's, it's good, man. This game, compared to the past games, is really solid. Now, is there footsies? Is there like frame advantage? Like, what makes this game competitive? Definitely, um, there's a lot of frame advantage, um, especially on jump punch starters. Um, you go in from a combo, and uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead. So right now we got uh, Ares playing Ares Smoke and, uh, and Rip, Rip playing, playing Scorpion. I knew he was gonna play Scorpion. Scorpion. Rip actually was third at um, the Microsoft tournament. Now I know it's early in the game, but basically, who would you feel has advantage in this matchup? Right now, I think Grip is probably going to take this. That's just my opinion because of because I actually played him in the tournament. Okay, so we got a lot of jumping going out, uh, and Eris is mainly my character, so you know, go Rip. <laughs> okay, so basically, they're kind of getting used to their spacing and. Uh, Ares definitely has a lot of uh, control over the space with his uh, smoke bombs and his teleport. Um, so, what ways is uh, Grip going to get around Ares' zoning? Um, right there, what he did just right now. He likes to do fire um, while he's zoning you. Um, he was doing that to me when I was at the Microsoft store and he's pretty good at it. You see what I mean? Now, you saw there that Ares blew his uh, X-ray pretty early. So, um... I know X-Ray does pretty good damage, so yeah, is it wise to use it early? Or are you trying you know to save it for later matches? No, or? Uh, I think you should have saved it. Um, with Smoke, you want to save that X-Ray. You don't want to use it in... I think with any character, you don't want to use your X-Ray in round one. You know, you want to keep it. You know, make sure you take that first round. Yo, American History X, motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> See? Round two. Rip, Rip really knows how to block, though. That's something I did notice. And then he takes advantage of the... Of the Hellfire. Okay, so uh, I noticed a couple like anti zoning tactics that Scorpion has is that fire from the ground yes. and his uh, spear. So yeah, uh, the, the Hellfire is totally unblockable, so you're gonna have to jump that. Okay, so what's what's a good way to get around that? That there's a teleport right there, but it was kind of yeah, baited. You just have to expect it. Um, something I would do is um uh, block dash a little more. You know, get in, and um as soon as you're getting closer, um try try and um. Attack him, although he is ready with that uppercut. I know he is. Now, I know a lot of uh, SF players are used to uh, anti airs and. Oh, there's footsies, a lot of enemies. But how do you capitalize on anti airs in MK? Uh, uppercut is a really good anti air in MK. Um, and he does use it, you know, to his advantage. Right here, we see um, Rip taking the, the match. So, so like, uh, Rip, put, Rip basically did like an uppercut anti air. Basically, uh, he, he can't do it on necessarily reaction. He has to guess it almost. So is there any follow-ups he can do after that uppercut anti-air? Not after the uppercut, but he has a couple more anti-airs. Um, I would say he probably should start taking advantage of um, three okay, punches spear. that teleport. So like, um, he, he uppercuts him. Like, what advantages does he get? Does he get like a wake-up advantage? What 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 does um, he set up after that? He just sets him back, and he could start zoning again with his Hellfire. So, uh, 
Oh, oh, smoke should have advantage on this because he has that teleport. And his smoke bombs, they tracked like right there. That was that was that wasn't good. That was another waste of X-ray. And I'm I think Rip will probably take this one. So that was a good example of uh, basically anti-airing him into an air and uh, continuing the juggle into a full combo. Uh, actually, something something Ares should um, take advantage is um, his three hit starter. Um, his second his second hit hits mid, and what it, what um, Rip is doing right now is he's block ducking. So his second hit hits um, overhead, and that's gonna give him a free pop up combo. Okay, so another thing is is that um, you know. I know X-Ray has super armor, so can you give us a little bit of a description on some of the properties of X-Ray super armor? When you activate your X-Ray, um, you're gonna be able—he's gonna be able to hit you out of it, um, depending on what character you're using. Um, if you have some fast jabs, it'll most likely um, um, interrupt it. But with smoke, what you want to do is you want to X-Ray on wake up. If you I'm on wake up uh, on um, on a jump, if you see Scorpion jumping in or something. Smoke should definitely try and get that get that X-ray in, or of course he could he could um, combo it into into anything he wants. Okay, so speaking of wake up, like, um, is there invincible startup for any wake up moves? Like, how, like, to basically satisfy the online audience, how do you wake up sure you can? <laughs> you could wake up sure you can by just doing any special um scorpion. I guess you could do his. His um teleport punch, uh, smoke. You could you could with smoke. Smoke is pretty good at this. Smoke could actually teleport away with his Akuma-like teleport, and um, he also has another. He also has his own um scorpion-like teleport. So yeah, smoke. Actually, smoke in the, in this match, he should have advantage over the over the hellfire because his his smoke bombs are pretty good. So he he should be able to control this match. Okay, so if I'm like the random like new to Mortal Kombat and I just started playing like the story mode and maybe I got like a few matches in like how do I how do I learn this game like like what are the first things I should start to learn in this game uh, definitely going to practice more and you know look, look at look at all their specials especially all their specials because this game has a lot to do with them I mean your normals are good but it, it's a very special um, field game like, like for example, you zone with Scorpion with your Hellfire, um, smoke. You know, he has to take advantage of his smoke bombs. Yeah, like uh, for example, like I played Kano for a little bit, and his uh, Kano balls are oh, yeah, are very are, strong. Zone yeah, tool. those are those are really good, and and he also has um, pretty pretty quick knives. You know, you could use those for for anti airs for zoning. Round one, fight. But other than specials, you know, something on. Um, they should be taking advantage of is um jump punch starters because it has frame advantage. Now, like for example here, like the throw system is basically off one button. Like how do you tech throws? Like how do you mix up the throw system in this game? Well, unlike the demo where, where you had to press either button for different throws, in, in this one you could e press either button and it'll just uh, um, break the throw. Which is um it should be um now this, punch and back punch. this game is very like string heavy, so like how would you mix up into the throws in this game? Uh, Scorpion, as, as an example with Scorpion, what you want to do is uh, you want to you wanna start with a jump punch starter to three and down four, which is his mid. If it's blocked, it's safe, so you want to go for the throw right there. Or, or another thing you could do is um, you could go for the enhanced teleport and you know grab them on the other side while, while they're now for example right there like uh Ares just did a wake up attack and it's a wake up attack like do you get any enhanced properties from doing wake up attacks or are they just like same as usual no it is same as usual round two fight He's, uh, I guess, a site moderator for Avoiding the Puddle. And if you're not checking out the site, he does, like, podcasts with various Tekken 6 or general Tekken community members and uh, kind of, like, expands the scene. 
And uh, Aerith is definitely taking an interest in Mortal Kombat. Like, if you follow him on Twitter, it's uh, at Avoiding the Puddle. He has definitely, like, shown an interest in this game and tried to break it down. And, uh, you know, he, he's definitely, like, really supporting the game. Like, he's trying to bring it to a wider audience. And uh, what we're going to try and do is basically get an exhibition match between Aeris and Crazy Bone here, who's a uh, Mortal Kombat veteran, to try and show you, like, I guess, the basics of what high level play could be. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I know it's really early. It's basically like day three. Like, what do you think this game is going to evolve into? Like, what do you think are some important fundamentals that you need to learn to be competitive in this game? Zoning will definitely take a big part in this game. Um, generally because of their, their specials. So, so zoning is really important, and uh, you know, what else is important to learn in this game initially? You're gonna have to also take um, advantage of any frame advantage moves that, that you have. For example, the jump punch starters, because if you think about it, when you go for them, um, any move after that is safe as as long as it hits. And you could go for um, a grab, you could go for a mix up, and. And of course, you could anything into a special um, is, is also good. Okay, so we got uh, Eris and Alex Valle coming up right now. Uh, Alex tends to play uh, Liu Kang. He really likes him in this game. He likes yeah. his juggles. And uh, he's famous for what you might see as known as coast to coast. <laughs> so he likes to take you from uh, wall to wall in this game. Uh, we got Oliver Ling coming up right now instead of Eris. Uh, Oliver is definitely an old school player. He's from UCI. He's a Marvel player by initiation. So uh, we'll see some uh, old school tactics right here. Round. It's actually pretty nice to see these two um, play Mortal Kombat. I mean, I've been watching players like this play Street Fighter for so long, and I've been wanting Mortal Kombat to be. Um, with the tournament community for so long and it's finally happening, you know? So, one important thing is, like, how do we, like, what is the West Coast Mortal Kombat team? Like, everyone knows, like, Rio, everyone knows, like, Tim Static, everyone knows Shock. Like, who are the West Coast Mortal Kombat players that are old school and have been playing this game for years? As far as the West Coast, I think it's barely getting developed because East Coast primarily has, has had more um, Mortal Kombat action and we got um we have we have players right here developing right now um i've been a mortal kombat player for for a while we have we have real right here on, on the mic you know he, he's also a mortal kombat player he's part of the mortal kombat community hey what's up guys um what's up bro oh yeah well you know the west coast scene is pretty big for the mortal kombat scene you know people know bone um, also, we've got um, a couple other players, a lot of other Street Fighter players stuff that are big name fighting game players are starting to get into the game as well. Justin Wong is going to play, for example. Um, you know, Alex Vai is playing right now. So we've got a lot of really big name players that are starting to get into the game. Yeah, I think generally this is a very important part of of the game. You know, to have these to have these players, you know, um, with us. You know, playing Mortal Kombat. You know, following our scene. Oh yeah, definitely. It's it's, it's really important to have. Uh, such big figures in the fighting game community, you know, come out and show show their love for the game and get other people involved and let yeah. the community grow, definitely. Yeah, this is something actually I've been wanting for so long and it just makes me so happy, you know, to see this. Um, oh yeah, I haven't played Mortal Kombat since um, UMK3 oh, and um, I just haven't been able to find, a, you know, a scene or anything else because the games haven't been like this. Yeah. I mean, th this Especially is incredible. On the, on the West Coast, has been dead. I mean, on the East Coast, you know, they've been trying to revive it, and they did a really good job. You know, I, I went to Winter Brawl; they had a good showing, and I, I tried getting something here on, on the West Coast. Um, thanks to John Rog and West Coast Warzone, we were able to bring Ultimate MK and even MK vs DC. You know, and we got we got um, some, some East Coast players, you know, to attend. And, uh, Mortal Kombat 9. Now, you know, I mean, we have a lot of people. We have Alex Valle playing right here. Who would have ever thought? You know. 
Yeah, I mean, I never would have imagined that we'd see a lot of Street Fighter players ever go into Mortal Kombat. Because for years, you've seen a lot of, uh, seen a little diversity, but you've never really seen everyone kind of come together. And I feel like this game really has brought a lot of different players from all sorts of fighting game backgrounds kind of together playing Mortal Kombat 9. It's a very solid game, and I think everybody's starting to notice that, little by little. Yeah, this definitely isn't a game where you can just sit there and mash. Um, this game has a lot of strategy and a lot of depth. A lot, depth of, zoning. A lot of zoning, a lot of footsies. Um, frame advantage, it's got negative edge too. Yeah. Um, so there's a lot of subtle familiar things in here, but as well as a lot of new things too. Yeah, definitely. And it brings the old school vibe, so the old school players who gave up on the 3D games, you know, they're, they're wandering back. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I really love how they've implemented the stage fatalities. You got a lot of old levels back. The story mode is incredible in this game. And NetherRealm just really did a good, great job of putting a lot of content in the game. The crypt and all uh, the combat codes, all the mini games, everything's there. Yeah, the, the game itself is nice. And I mean, gameplay-wise, if you have a favorite character, there's a really big chance it's going to be a really good character. So if you want to take it into tournaments, go right ahead. Um, if you're a good player, you know, you will do well. Yeah, they, they've definitely done also a really good job of balancing out the characters, too. Definitely. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Wednesday Night Fights here. Today we are playing some Mortal Kombat 9. Hey, I'm Ultra David. Uh, I'm a player in the Street Fighter and Marvel scene. been playing for a while and trying to get into Mortal Kombat now. And my name is Glenn. I'm a.k.a. Crazy Bone. Been in the scene for a long time. And we're here at the tournament for Mortal Kombat, you know. Who would have thought? Taking it seriously, man. Lots of people are here. Lots of people are playing the game. I actually saw the bracket. Uh, I, I faced Combo Fiend next, so you can see that lots of players are picking up this game. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we who saw, haven't really played Mortal Kombat before. Yeah, and we saw Alex Valle playing right here. Um, right. Yeah. yeah. So this is... This I, I know we got Tekken players playing the game. We saw some Tekken, Tekken players earlier. Rip and Eris were playing. Yeah, Rip actually um, got third place at the Microsoft Store launch party. Oh, sick. Yeah. That's so, cool. Do you know uh, who who won that? Did you play? Um, yeah, actually, Richard. Um, oh, Richard won. Yeah, Richard won that. Um, he actually beat me. I got second, right. and Rip got third. So I gotcha. If you guys don't know Richard, when uh, he's been a player in Street Fighter and Marvel for quite a while, known for being a really creative uh, and technical player. And yeah. I'm sure he, I, I saw actually saw him play on a stream quite a bit against you. Oh yeah, yeah, we were uh, playing at UCI. Was cool. yeah, 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 yeah. It was an awesome. It was an awesome game. Right, so uh, looks like we're setting up for a tournament match here. I see easier to run against. Um, and right here we have. Um, oh, we got we got a switch up. We have Rail and Sub yeah, we have Rail on the white shirt. And easier to attack. run, ETR. And ETR. ETR. I, I, another player in the uh, in the Street Fighter. Well, I should just say Capcom scene who's yeah. picking up Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Round. Just like when um, Super Street Fighter came out, you know, everybody from every other game, you know, is, is trying out the game, and it's exactly. nice to see that. Yeah, no, it seems like a like a really interesting game. It's a lot more creative. I say it allows for a lot more creativity than I than I kind of expected. I mean, I never played a Mortal Kombat competitively before, so it's like really learning a whole new thing for me. It's a very solid game, very special based, and a lot of zoning goes on in this game. Right. So for those who haven't tried it, you know, I, I really encourage everybody to try this game. I think it's going to be really good. What do you think about these two characters that they're going to use? They're, they're just button checking right now, you can tell, but well, okay. when they play seriously. So so we right here, um, Sub-Zero should be able to control the match. Um, Johnny Cage is more of a counter character. His X-Ray um, is a counter, kind of similar to Fei Long in Super Street Fighter. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a, definitely a process for me of, of learning the characters and learning how the game goes. It's like a totally new experience. So. Yeah, and you already Excuse me if I don't know some. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, started out strong, won my first tournament match. Nice. Cyrex. Yeah, got that Cyrex in there. What do you think about Cyrex? I think Cyrex is really good. I, I've okay. seen him on stream. You know, I haven't really messed with him too much, but I've seen people use him, and I think he's going to be really good. He's got he's got some he's got some serious setups, I can say that. Oh yeah. Sub Zero. Bomb traps, you know. Bomb name traps, it. man, yep. Alright, so I guess they're gonna stick with the characters that they had picked for yeah. button select. Ro has been using Johnny Cage for quite well since the demo came out and I think he's gonna stick to him. Okay. I've messed with Sub Zero a little bit. Um, he seems like an interesting character. I really like the use of the clone to control uh, what the opponent can do, yeah, especially in the corner. Has everything. Yeah, Sub Zero has everything. He's he could zone if he wants to. He could rush if he wants to. He has he has a bit of everything. 
a character that could control the match like that is a very good character. So I would expect to see him in at a lot of finals tournaments. Okay. All right, so here we go. They're playing for real now. So, rushing. Yeah, Sub Zero trying to play a little bit of defense, create some space here. But yeah, you can see already that Johnny Cage is rusting in. Yeah. Overhead. Um. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be asking a ton of questions. Yeah, so you know. that's fine. <laughs> um, we'll see right here. Okay, so that was kind of random, but. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he was going for the neutral jump one. Yeah, Sub Zero should, should, should definitely um, try and clone right here and control the match. Um, we'll see how Johnny Cage tries to get in. In order to break the clone, you have to block, block dash. Right, yeah, 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 exactly. Or if you're not up close enough at the start, you just have to wait for it to run out. Oh, right? yeah. Like, I'm not sure if they changed this, but um, in the corner, you know, if Sub Zero happens to do a clone and Johnny Cage gets there with his with his counter, it will counter him um, as an unblockable. No matter no matter what he does, jumps away. Okay. So I, I'd like to see some of that. Well, I guess I guess that. There's still an issue with the buttons because oh, yeah. you can see they're going through this right now, trying to fix That's it. That's the reason for the randomness. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I was like, what's going on here? All right, okay, so I guess we're not even going to start over. Just going to play this for real. Okay. Sounds good. Rel already we has have, one game. Already has his opponent in the corner. Oh, he, he's rushing over there. He feels, I think he's confident he's going to... Yeah, and that wasn't much of a punish there on that. Yeah, oh, there we go. That's what I was talking about. Right. So observe to control the match. Um, depending on where he does the clone, that's basically like him drawing the line, saying, um, you know what, Johnny Cage, this is this is my side. Exactly. Stay away. Right. Well, he wasn't able to create much of a combo after that or much of a setup either. He has a setup now. And yeah. yeah. Okay, so there you go. Yeah, so you see that how careful Johnny Cage Rel is being yeah. with that clone there. And he's definitely saving that meter because I... Yeah, there we go. He's saving it for the second round. That was oh, a smart right. move. Oh, and we got a fatality here. <laughs> Stage specific. Stage fatality. Yeah. Awesome. Johnny Cage wins. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I think he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's not going to survive that. If I had to guess. All right, so Rel taking that first game. Rel see if easier to run. One. Sticks to his character. Might be trying to change. Nope. All right, just yeah. gonna go right back into it. Yeah, I definitely like to see him zone a little bit more with that. Or at least if he's, he's, he's gonna get in, he needs to like create yeah, we more see, opportunities. You see Rel here rushing again. He's not afraid of that clone. Maybe because he's not cloning. <laughs> right. Yeah. All right, so he has a chance here, but yeah, he just dashed in. Didn't really set up anything after that. Oh, that's that's what makes Sub Zero really good. All right, now he has his opponent in the corner, so he can put out clone and oh, just be yeah. really annoying, right? Yeah, like, you, you should definitely. Well, he's not going for it, so I mean, Johnny Cage is easy to get out. All right, he's actually it's actually working for him. So, oh, there we oh, go. Oh, their that, counter. That's yep. the counter I was talking about. He was saving it. Yup, counter X-ray. <laughs> and it worked for him on the second round, just like I expected. There you go. Johnny, Johnny Cage takes this one. But he's still caught in the corner. One of the interesting things about this game is that you just start wherever you leave. Yeah. And now um, Sub Zero should have advantage on this match, considering that Johnny Cage does not have any more meter. Right, so he doesn't have to worry about counter. It's going to be pretty hard for him to build up enough meter right now. I think Real might be having a little trouble here because he's he's um, generally a PlayStation pad player, and I believe this is an Xbox. Oh wow! Okay. Oh, he was just trying for the yeah. X right there, but random, yeah, that, you know, yeah, he didn't was, have a setup. Yeah, something um, about this game is that you can't just do random X-rays. You really need your meter. If you have a full meter, you know, you have your X-ray ready, you either save it, do it into a combo, but no random. If it's blocked, it's blocked, and, the, you know, the advantage goes to the to the other player. And the Oscar goes to Sub-Zero, <laughs> right? <Yep. laughs> Create a little podium for that so, thing. So, Real took this one. And, and you can see that the, the emphasis on... Not getting your moves blocked is important, just his special moves too. I mean, the reason he died there is that he had a, just a random slide yeah, exactly. that was blocked. And that thing is, you know, yeah. minus a billion on block. Yeah, so. and, and the x-ray was a, pretty much, he just gave it away right there. All right, guys, we're back here at Wednesday Night Fights playing some Mortal Kombat 9. Right now we have a tournament match between Rel and Out for Justice. Out for Justice. We saw Rel play earlier already in a, another match. Yeah, he might be going to Johnny Cage again. Yeah, hey, you were saying that he's been playing Johnny Cage ever since the demo. Yeah, and ever since the demo. Um, he, he hasn't been playing since Ultimate Johnny MK. Cage. He started playing again um, when MK9 came out. And yeah, what will be expected? Johnny Cage. Awesome. Versus Noob Saibot. Versus Noob Saibot. This is going to be a very... I think this is in Noob's favor. Okay. This might be in Noob's favor, yeah. 
going for buttons. Yeah, he's gonna play. Them. Okay, play. Yeah, they're playing. Good. Yep. Both characters trying to feel each other out, trying to open up an opportunity right now. And Ro rushing again, just like how we saw him, saw him do earlier. And I like that he dashes toward after he he does a uh, a sweep. You know, just builds his space, gets some space control. Get in there, push the corner back to the corner. Out for justice should be um yeah there we go. He should be uh, using those clones. Oh. Oh, Rel, this is Rel's favorite spot right here. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, this is it. Wow, yeah. all right. That's sick. Round two, fight. And when you beat your opponent in the corner, there they stay right there. Yeah, yeah. Really makes the space control important because you you got to make sure that you don't lose in a certain place too. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely not where Noob wants to be. Wow, just getting mixed up right now between oh, those yeah. knives. Yeah, Rel is just going at him. Noob should Noob really wants to zone out and he's not getting it. All right, well right now he has a chance to make something. Yeah, oh, oh, no, back in the corner. <laughs> yeah, Noob should, should really consider zoning with, with the clones. Oh, um, wow, he should, he's going for normals right now. Um, and yeah, it cost them. Yeah. From the get-go, he should have started using more clones, you know, zone them out, you know, exactly. not get them not get them in that situation where he was, you know, where Johnny Cage, you know, is just attacking him, rushing him down in the corner. Is that is that rush kick from Johnny Cage safe on block? No, it's not actually. Oh, okay. Wait, wait, you're, ta you're talking about the, the shadow kick. Shadow kick. Yeah, no, that's definitely not safe on block. Oh, wow, all um, right. The enhanced one hits hits um, medium, but it's also not safe, so that's very, very punishable. Because he's been going to that a lot. Yeah, um, Mark for Justice is just not You just think he's just not worried about punishments, basically. Yeah. Yeah, it's been really hard for Alpha Justice to just get anything going at all. Already yeah. caught the corner. Oh, now he's away. Yeah, see, see right there, you, you have advantage. You should really take care of your clones. Um, but not doing that is allowing Real to just, you know, go at him. Yeah, look, I mean, you yeah, can see right he's there. doing nothing there. Yeah. Got to get something going. And again, he's caught back in the corner. Yeah. So Noob has a, a X-ray right now. Something I would have done is um, use his Disabler into, into an X-ray. Because Disabler blocks... I mean, um, disables your block. There we go. Yeah, he's just he's been dashing up with uh, just low normals yeah, a lot. Like. Rel is just not afraid since, you know. No, I, I agree. I think he's playing yeah. well. There, I like the throw there's attack no there. coming at him, so he feels like, you know what? It's an easy rush game. There you go, right, well, Rel. Yeah, Rel, corner again. Rel yeah. is just... Oh, Taking consistently side-switching there in the corner. I can't imagine he's meaning to do that. They'd be cool for tricks, though. Yeah. See, that's a, that, that right there is a really good move for Noob. To, you, Noob is starting to, to use his clones, but it, a little oh, too late. Oh, man. Yeah, it was a, a little, little bit too late. late. And then you could see that he was playing defensively, I think looking for the Shadow Kick. Yeah, Johnny Something, Cage, you could, you could already tell Johnny Cage was already having more trouble. Yeah. But um, just way too late. Yeah, definitely. So Rel takes it Johnny over out for justice. Yeah.